Hey everyone, this is Pokemon Sun, video number 9. So in the last video we went to Haoli Cemetery. Uh, found the Drifloon, brought it back to that girl in the Pokemon Center and got our 10,000 bucks. It's pretty legit. So in this video we're going to make our way up Route 2. Uh, at the end of Route 2 is the... Well, at the end of Route 2 is Verdant Cavern. Where Elima's Grand Trial is, so... We're going to... We're going to do that. First, we're going to do this, though. we got to get up through Route 2. As you can see, it's kind of a long video, but I decided, you know what? I'd rather have just one kind of long video for Route 2 as opposed to having two videos for Route 2. I want to get through it pretty fairly quickly. <clears throat> so, uh, this Makuhita here sneaks up on us. And I do want to try and catch it, you know, because Pokedex and also... It's a fighting type, and I feel like it'll come in handy uh, with this uh, upcoming trial. Um, so, I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you what happened. So, I, I've actually already played through the trial. Um, when I, I went through, you know, how you go through the cave and you battle all those little young goose. So then, like, right before I, like, battled the totem Pokemon, I saved my game. You know, just, I don't know why, but I saved my game. And I battle the totem Pokemon, everyone's great, you know, I'm still recording, as, I, as I'm walking out of the cave, I get a message on my screen that says there's no more hard disk space left and I can't record. So like, all of that video that I recorded was lost. I was like, well, okay, that's no big deal, it was one video, I can replay it. So I start over, but I forgot that I had saved right before the totem Pokemon battle, so I basically lost that footage of going through the cave battling the young goose and you know battling team skull in there as well so the next video is going to be the trial but it's going to start out at the battle with the totem pokemon so there was a lot that was kind of left out and um i felt like it would be better to explain that on this video than on the next video just because on the next video we, we start off kind of like you know guns ablaze and battling that totem pokemon and i didn't want to be talking about this while we're battling that pokemon so we found the noranberry which i am actually going to give to uh... to pichu here after a while in an effort to make him like me but yeah i learned a lesson um... never again will i well, actually, I learned two lessons. One, I'm always going to check to make sure I have enough space available. I guess I just didn't realize that my computer had been getting, you know, full full up of stuff here. So I uh, cleared a bunch of space off my computer, so I shouldn't run into that problem anymore. But I'm also never going to save in the middle of a video anymore. I always save after e I do each video, and I think that's that's enough because each video is only 20 minutes if I something happens and I lose that I can just easily go back and replay it but if I save in the middle then that's you know basically lost unless I want to go back and start the game over which I really don't want to do so anyway <laughs> this guy's all exasperated waiting for her to do her hair and makeup what's this super potion so there's a couple of these. I've I've encountered a couple of these little motels that are here just kinda in the middle of a of a route. In this game I think I've encountered two. There's that big hotel in that one city in Akala Island, but then there's just, you know, a couple of these little motels scattered about here and there, which is kinda kinda funny, kinda cool. Ooh, a smeargle. And oh, okay, I was that actually even though that did like nothing that actually did more than I thought it would. So now Smurgle's gonna use struggle because apparently that one sketch it tried to do is the only move that it had left, so it's just gonna struggle now. Um, and what this tells me is that I can actually take another struggle, probably even two more before I get knocked out. And look at that! Look at that! I don't want to attack it because I feel like if I attack it, I'll knock it out. So I'm going to use Nasty Plot here. Um, let me see if I can catch it. 
And this is where I made my mistake, because yes, it's paralyzed, it's kind of low HP, but it's also a Smeargle, which is kind of a, a rare Pokemon that you don't see that often. So I really should have used one of those Ultra Balls I got from that guy in Howley City, but I didn't. And I missed out on my chance to catch a Smeargle. But, um, you know, Scabbers was at least able to get the experience, and as you can see, I have Picky Peck here on my team because uh, he, he evolves into uh, Trumbeak somewhere in the mid-teens. So I'm see if I can at least get him to evolve into Trumbeak just to fill up the Pokédex. So I guess his kid went out to become a Pokemon master, Pokemon trainer. Looks like he got some trophies, that's cool. So this isn't Alima because Alima's house was there in, in uh, Haoli City. Huh, I wonder whose house this is. I'm the, I don't know, I could probably figure it out but I don't want to. So yeah, now I'm going to give, uh, he'll peach you out with a potion. Ah, oh, it's late. That's why I'm yawning. My bad. And I will let Pichu actually hold the Oran Berry because I read somewhere that when they get to hold a berry and actually use it in the battle that it raises their friendship. And you know me, I'm right now I'm trying to get Pichu's friendship, you know, on the up and up, so. Preschooler Pistons full power. He sends out a Spearow, which is perfect. Actually, a Wingle would be perfect, but this will work. Um, his Spearow's at level 8. Scabbers is at level 13. Ooh, maybe I can knock this out in one hit. Let's see. Ooh, I sure did. Look at that. Aw. Alright, little by little. That that gave almost no experience, but hey, it's 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 something. <clears throat> Let's see, that is the side of that motel. And look, there's Santa Claus. No, it's actually a deli bird. No he doesn't. I like how it says he has a hold of your bag, and like it, it's it's clear by looking at the screen that that he doesn't. Oh, here we go! It's these guys again. Let's get Figgy with it while I nab me some berries. Ah, uh, I see what he did there. <laughs> oh, is this Grunt A and Grunt B again? Then apparently y'all never get serious. <laughs> I love how no one takes these guys seriously. It's hilarious. Like, no one is threatened by them. Okay. So yeah, these are the same ones that uh, Alima and I battled um, two videos ago. Uh, this guy here who's battling me now must be the one that Alima battled because in that video he had, or in that battle, the guy I battled had a Zubat. This one has a Drowsy. Unless he, you know, ditched his Zubat and caught a Drowsy here on Route 2. So I uh, do the Sweet Kiss to confuse Drowsy. Let's see if we can do this ourselves. Or maybe not. Nah. Alright, so we send in Hedwig. Because Hedwig actually does have the ghost type move that'll be super effective against Drowsy. 
So Drowsy uses Pound, which doesn't do too much. That would have done a lot more to peach you. Come on, hurt yourself. Okay, he uses Pound. <laughs> I don't think another Astonish will knock it out, but Astonish plus uh, Drowsy hurt itself in its confusion will probably knock it out. Come on, hurt yourself, hurt yourself. This would be perfect. You confuse yourself to death. Oh, it did. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. Hedwig is just two levels away from evolving and it wants to learn Razor Leaf. Yeah, we'll have him forget Leafage. Leafage has been a, um, it's been a solid move up to this point, but Razor Leaf is better. So, um, yeah, you will now know Razor Leaf instead of Leafage, which makes sense because his other moves that he has are Tackle, Peck, and Astonish. Um, obviously I'm not going to have him forget Peck. Um, Astonish is good for situations like this, and Tackle, you know, it's, it's just good to have that to fall back on. Especially the fact that Alima, like I said, is a normal type user, so the Z, the Z coin or the Z crystal you get will be the normal one. The normal, more, more normal Zium or however you say it. So... And right now, um, well, between Hedwig and, and Pichu at least, Hedwig is the only one who has a normal type move. So I might end up giving that Z crystal to Hedwig and have him use it with his, with his tackle. So at least for the time being, until I get a like a flying one or a grass one, I'll give that Z crystal to Hedwig. So a lot of times when you uh, go to pick up berries underneath the trees, a crab brawler will appear. And a crab brawler is actually a very, it's a very, very good Pokemon, actually. Just a bunch of Delibird in there. But actually, I should go back in and talk to those Delibird, because a lot of times, Pokemon like this, they'll give you something. So he doesn't have anything to say. QQ, Flap, TT, DD. <laughs> He's like asking me a question. Burr, burr. And he gives me a revive. I knew it. See, I, I knew it. I knew that would be a good idea to come back through here. Whenever there's like a little path like next to a house or something like that, you know there's always going to be an item at the end. Look, we got a super potion. So now these are the actual berry fields. And I like how, you know, this game, it, it has berry fields, but you can't actually use... Uh, and look at that, found a repel. You don't actually use the berry fields. I don't think there's a way to use these berry fields. Um, oh, I can't go this way. Um, you use the berry fields in the Poke Palago. Really? You use the berry fields in the Poke Palago. But... You know, those those actually are, are pretty handy because they you can basically... I mean, they don't travel with you per se, but you can get to them from wherever you are. And these berry fields... Not so much. So, I like the way they handle it in this one, that Poke Pelago. But I just thought it was weird that you can't use the berry fields here. I feel like this is the first time that they actually, like, created a berry fields that you don't use. I don't know, maybe you can use it, I just, like, never figured out how. Anyway, here we are. We, we have Backpacker Ashley who sends out a Cottony. Um, the, you know, Gen 5 throwback here. I always seem to forget about Cottony from Gen 5. So I used Thundershock on it. I don't know why, but I, I thought Cottony was grass and flying, like grass slash flying, but I guess it isn't. It's just grass. 
So I just sent in Hedwig to use Peck, and that apparently was enough. So that's awesome. And we defeated Backpacker Ashley. Oh no! So that's there's that. Um, let's see. I'll go back this way here. We'll battle this person. I'm surprised it took her that long to see us, actually. So this is going to be... Last Isabella who sends out a Mistrevis. Ooh, look at that, Mistrevis. Alright, Scabbers, let's see what you can do here. I'll probably end up going into to Hedwig again, but let's, let's see what Scabbers got. Mischievous level 9. So can you catch a Mischievous yet? I wonder if you could catch one back there at that cemetery, or even just here on Route 2. That'd be cool. Because usually these trainers, like, they have, like, the Pokemon they have is something that you can, like, have already caught yourself by now. Or at least the ones that you run into, like, on the, on the route. You know what I mean? Oh, wow, that actually did more damage than I thought. So instead of using two... Thunder shocks here, which honestly I probably should do. I'm gonna use one nasty plot and a thunder shot. <clears throat> do you guys remember um, Andromeda? Andromeda was a uh, spirit tomb that I used in one of my Let's Plays. I'm trying to remember what game I used it in. I think I used it in Bloody Platinum. Was it Bloody Platinum that I used that Spirit Tomb? I think it was. Or no, was it... It was like Storm Silver or, or Spirit Gold. It, it was one of those. It was, it was either Storm Silver or Spirit Gold when I used Andromeda. But I remember... Uh, I would always use nasty plot with that thing. Like, just I would use like two or three nasty plots in a row, and then just attack. Oh, uh, those were good times. Yeah, it was either it was either Spirit Gold or Storm Silver that I that I used that Spirit Tomb. But I nicknamed it Andromeda because it looked like a galaxy, and there's a galaxy named Andromeda. So I figured I thought that was a good nickname. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was it was one of those. You know, I'm gonna look it up because I actually have saved on my computer a list of all the teams that I have ever used and all my playthroughs. Not like ever used ever, like in, in like all the games I've played, but at least in my like let's plays for YouTube. I have that saved. Um let's see. It was in Pokemon Storm Silver. Okay yeah it was Pokemon Storm Silver. Thought I used that spear tomb. That was a legit team that I used in Storm Silver. Feraligator, Metagross, Charizard, Jolteon, Torterra, and Spiritomb. That's that's pretty legit. Not gonna lie. Alright, catching the Spiro. Or maybe not catching it, okay. Um, yeah, I'm just afraid if I hit it again, I'll knock it out. And it's only level 7, too, and I'm at level 15. I really want to catch this thing. Because, and I'll go ahead and tell you, you already know, probably. Uh, at the Pokemon Center up ahead, there is a person there who will trade you a Machop for a Spearow. And I want to get that Machop so that I can use it in the trial because Machop's a fighting type, and a fighting type will really come in handy in that trial. Because he uses normal types. <laughs> I'm just going over everything again. But yeah, with Makuhita and Machop, oh, I'm gonna own it. And Machop, since it's a traded Pokemon, will get experience faster. So, I'm probably gonna hang on to that Machop for a while, honestly. Because he's going to gain experience really fast. I mean, he's going to be... His, he's... Like, Pichu and Scabbers are, you know, kind of a little bit higher level than the rest of the party. 
but Machop's gonna get up there with Pichu and I, I, I literally said Pichu and Scabbers. Uh, Hedwig and Scabbers are, you know, a few levels higher than the rest of the party, but that Machop, because of how quickly he gains experience, I feel like Machop's gonna actually get up there with them level-wise. I'm not gonna use Machop as a, um, as a party member unless, unless he just, like, I don't know, unless he just ends up doing, like, really amazing. But, um, you know, I'll have him in my team for now to help out. It'll be good to have him chop against those, like, Steel-type and Rock-type Pokemons that, you know, have really high defense and, you know, Pokemon like, like Scabbers and Hedwig can't really, you know, take out that quickly. So... It'll be good to have that. So this time, this Redditas snuck up on us. You saw that, right? How, like, the little grass, like, kind of came up to us. Or the little shadow in the grass came up to us. And like that guy said at the beginning, sometimes they can leave items. Like, remember that Makuhita? He left something. What did he leave? Was it a... He left an orange berry. What is this? Ooh, a revive. I don't think we can buy them yet, so any revives I find are really nice. This guy is looking for berries for his Pokemon to hold. Pokemon Breeder J. Is it Butterfree? That was a different kind of Pokeball. Oh, what kind of Pokeball was that? That he had. I noticed that, that Team Skull uses different kind of Pokeballs too, but I don't know. This guy had a different one as well. So this is a level 10 Butterfree uh, flying slash bug. So if Scabbers can knock this thing out, that would be special because it's a fully evolved Pokemon. Um, and yeah, he should get a lot of experience from this thing. You know, I use the strategy of if it looks like it's going to take two more Thundershocks, I use Nasty Plot and then Thundershock, so I only use one. But I feel like, you know, there's a, there's enough PP with Thundershock that I could probably go away with just using two Thundershocks, and maybe, just maybe, I'll get lucky with the first one and paralyze it. So, I don't know, I feel like I should I should do it that way from here forward. Picky Peck learned Rock Smash, which is a strange attack for it to learn, I feel like. It's a fighting type move, which I guess is is nice, um, you know, given where I'm headed. But I don't know. I feel like that's just a weird move for him to have. <laughs> Let's battle this little guy. Oh look, there's How up there. We we. It's a battle. A battle. All right. Challenged by preschooler Malia. Any minute now. Sends out Cutie Fly. That thing is kind of cute. Uh, it flies, but I don't think it's a flying type like Butterflea. I think Butterflea. Butterfree. Um, we will find out here when he does a Thundershock. That didn't do much. Yeah, see? It's not part flying type. Or if it is, it's like flying and grass or something. Um, is it Bug Fairy? I think it might be Bug Fairy. In which case, it'll just be neutral to electric. But if it is Bug Fairy, then it'll still be weak to Peck. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think Cutie Fly evolves into anything either. I mean, I could be totally wrong, but I I don't think it does. Or I think of Oricorio. I'm I'm 99% certain Oricorio doesn't evolve into anything, and that might be what I'm thinking about. Maybe and maybe Cutie Fly does. Ah, uh, so there's how. Uh, not so good. I'm gonna say that. Hopefully, he won't want to battle. Oh, okay. <laughs> He seems lost. The PMC? 
you can't say Pokemon Center. Dang, how gives us three revives? We just found that one outside, and now this one. <laughs> I guess they're expecting a lot of my Pokemon to faint coming up. That's funny. The two clerks sell different things from one another. He's going to get himself a treat at the cafe. Oh, so he is going to take the trial. So I want to kind of wrap up everything that I have to do on Route 2 in this video, which includes, you know, the Pokemon Center here, because the next video is going to be, you know, the trial, kind of. And then, um, no problem. Cutie Fly. I just battled one. Route 3 is the next route, and it's not open to us until we actually um, beat the trial. So um, it's we we have to actually do the trial first before we can go find that kitty fly. Um, so we'll do we'll do that um, after we beat the trial. Yes, I have caught Spiro, and I will trade it for your matchup. That is a Caterpie. Uh, there's Spiro. So I got a level 7 Spearow. That means I should get a level 7 Machop in return. Alright, and now we have a Machop. Is it Machop or Machop? I don't know. I've always said Machop, but I think it's Machop. Like, I've always said Machop. <laughs> Ever since, like, the first games came out, like, back in the 90s, I've always said Machop. Machop. Dang it. But I think it is Machop. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm talking crazy. So I guess because Spiro was in the uh, in the box, that Machop was also sent to the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get him out of the box and put him in my party. Um, try and get him leveled up a little bit before we battle that totem Pokemon. Um, you know, with him being a traded Pokemon, like I said, he does earn experience quicker, so it shouldn't take too long to get him leveled up. So, anyway, next video will be the trial. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. Leave a comment. See you next time. Bye.